No? So two months ago I air layered one of the branches on my fig tree because it's way too big and um this is what we have going on let's take a look looking pretty good looking a little dried out but it's a good amount of roots <laughs> going right around the plastic where I had it wrapped. I'll try to be gentle. Here we go. That's a good amount of healthy roots. So we'll just cut this off and set you guys down. And then we'll come up as close as we can. Looks like there's a couple little roots started there too, but let's just take the root ball. Here's a close up. You can see the roots coming out, the stem. And it's pretty healthy. It actually has some figs on it. This plant, almost six feet tall. So this is composted sheep manure mixed with a little peat moss and a little bit of sand. This is what I use for potting soil. So, I already got a little in here. Make a nice little hole for this to go in. Get rid of the rocks. We are going to carefully open up some of these roots. Oh, all right. I'm gonna make sure we get this low enough. There's plenty of soil around it to hold it up. water this in really good make sure it's completely wet so I'm putting this back in the greenhouse this will protect it from winds cold weather and also from drying out while the roots get established in this new pot so it's actually in the dark Part of the greenhouse where the sun doesn't get on it directly. We'll keep an eye on these. If they start to curl from drying, then uh, we can always prune down the top to protect the rest of the plant and give the uh, right amount of balance to the roots. In about uh, another month, those roots should fill up that pot. All that's left is to layer up some of these other ones that are uh, sticking out and blocking my path in the greenhouse here. Maybe prune the top off of this because it's getting a little out of control. This is cut all the way through. Now this is cut off right at this node. There's a lot of rooting and growth hormones right in this naturally. And then this is bare stock down to the wood. This is just a potting mix. And then we'll take this put this around the limb, but I'll need both hands, so I'll show you when it's all tied up. Well, we'll 
Just making sure this is wrapped tightly around both ends of the stock. And the dirt is firmly pressed around the cut where the air layer is. And we'll take the aluminum foil we had. This will keep the sun off of it. Keep it nice and dark. And help keep it cooler so it doesn't get cooked in the sun from the heat. So it'll help keep it nice and tight around this branch. Now just that little bit of moisture in there is probably good for the next month, month and a half. And uh, we'll get another fig tree. This little branch right here will turn into a nice little tree. That's what it looks like. In two months time, the process keeps going. All right guys, take it easy, have a good one. We'll see you next time.